I request Mr. Meena sir to stay back on stage. Member Hydro and CISO, Ministry of Power, Government of India, is also joining us for this session. A huge round of applause for him, please. So, so we are joined by eminent digital transformation leaders from public sector undertakings and government. And we are also told by, by team that Mr. Shantanu Khandelwal, he's a cyber security expert from Singapore, who has joined us. Uh, so I request him also to come on stage, please. A huge round of applause for him, please. So it will be an interesting session. So without taking much time, let me request Mr. K. L. Meena, IS Project Director, Madhya Pradesh State Electronics Development Corporation to give his presentation on the cyber security implications for e-governance. Over to you, sir. Thank you. Uh, can we have the presentation, please? All right. So uh, good afternoon, everyone. I think uh, sessions are getting delayed a little bit, but we all are holding well. Because these are really very interesting and engaging sessions since morning. And the subject is one where we all need to hone our skills. We all need to understand what are real threats. My today's talk will largely revolve around the implication of cyber threats for e-governance projects. Today we are delivering most of our services on the digital platform to our citizens and doing so will require a digital infrastructure in place whereby they can access the services online. While designing the systems, a lot of thought goes into the ease of doing business, the availability of the systems, but off late, we have also started thinking about security of the systems. In the view of data breaches which are happening all around us, we see it. Uh, next slide, please. So we have to realize the cost of data breach is significant. It's not just that the data is out there in public domain or it's available on the dark web and we simply let it go. We have to understand what is the cost associated with the data breaches. A report by IBM Security says the cost of data breach on average is somewhere around $4.5 million per breach in 2023. That's huge. 2023 it sees an increment of almost a 15% from the previous year, which is, you know, day by day increasing. So we have to realize if there is a data breach, then there is a cost associated with it in terms of either it's a ransomware or an, any other, uh, you know, the, the, the record, uh, you have to uh, recollect your data, you have to recreate your data, the costs are associated with it. So the cyber threat is from what kind of people cyber threat is not just from terrorist organizations. Yeah, okay, thank you. So the threats are from not just terrorist group. We have to realize the threat, threats are all around us. You know, somebody in your organization, somebody in your office who is, you know, uh, not can cannot be trusted with the kind of data you have. So you have to realize the insider threats also. You have to realize the nation states are trying to you know, uh, hack into each other's system. So th those kind of threats are there. And then there are people who are doing it just for the fun, the hacktivist, the people who will do it just to, you know, demonstrate their skills. You cannot, you cannot, you know, sit, sit idle and say, 
that uh, we have safeguarded ourselves against the certain kind of malwares now we are safe no these people are there trying to get into the system just for the fun of it so we need to be aware of those kind of risk now as government should i be bothered with data threat should i be bothered bothered with the risk of data leaks well we all are handling the personal data of citizens you know when we plug in a pen drive in our system we are worried about the kind of malware it can bring you know we we try to not double click it we safely says first scan it for the virus now right click and open it so we are so so concerned about the pen drive we are putting into our system but why should we not be bothered about the data which is there of the public citizens of the people because in 2023 while we are standing here the dpdp act is very much enforceable and the penalties associated are not very small the highest penalty is 250 cr we have to realize it somebody will have to pay and government can be held accountable similar to the private organization because we are delivering services similar to the private organization so we have to realize that our systems are you know vulnerable and there are risk associated with it what is the target of such threats the target can be information the target can be devices you know so your uh, entire computer in the organization are non usable you cannot perform your regular services because your systems have been hacked so devices information your financial assets and as discussed in the morning your opinions are also target you know when you go out there and speak about something when organization speak about something it becomes a trust factor people trust on that organization that if something is said then that must be real so what if the false information is put in the public domain on behalf of an organization so your opinions are also under attack now if you say our data is gold then don't you think it should be safeguarded every time it should be put behind a very secure system and that is essential for all of e governance project right when we are designing a system when we are developing a digital platform we should ensure that our data which is going to reside in the system is well placed is well safeguarded the systems are such that in case of a breach the personal information is not leaked out there so while designing your system in different departments while designing your it project you should be aware that you should design these projects in such a manner that even if there is a leak your personal information personal information of the user is not leaked so this this kind of approach is required in today's e governance system i just wanted to highlight these two facts about the cyber threats today thank you everyone thank you uh, mr kail meena uh, for highlighting these two aspects of uh, cyber security threats uh, implication for e governance projects uh, what we need to keep in mind uh, from the government side as well mm -hmm.